Hello everybody and welcome back to my Evil Within playthrough where last time we did make it through the stupid gate. Hey, what you doing? Are you being that bastard that hasn't subscribed yet? Well, why don't you join one of us that have subscribed? As well as that, you might as well tune down to the description down below where I have a new subreddit called uh, r slash realmhq. Other than that, back to your regularly scheduled the program. Gate. Alright, can't wait to get trans in a hot second. Let's see. But I'm not, I'm not right seeing. I see a little house over there. Let's see. Okay, I got some. I'm hoping we got those two right there. I don't know where I'd see anyone in here. It doesn't seem like there's anything of use outside of the goop. Which doesn't outright help me. There are far too many of them. I sneak past. Good God. Yeah. That's right. Just keep doing what you're doing. Not exactly good. Think I'll be good? I'm going to try get a stealth on this guy. Oh! Ah. Okay, we're running. We're running. Yeah, we're gonna have fun with this. Uh, hey, how's it going? Oh, come on. Ooh, how you doing? Ah. That one round! <laughs> I swear, if I am out of rounds, that's going to... <laughs> I mean, continuity's sake. I wonder what would have happened if I was out of ammo. <laughs> hey, we did it! <laughs> oh my god, that was... <laughs> yes, I would love to overwrite that save. Alright, let's continue. Next chapter. Oh, God. <laughs> I've not had any ammo to even be concerned with reloading. <laughs> no, I still have my one round. Okay, thank you. Not exactly safe. Gone. I'm not okay. Oh, thanks. That's what I want to hear. Seem to be any ammo. Holy cow, I got a lot of... Okay, I think the... Because I'm aware that there's a, a DLC or something like that. Because technically my game has... Because what was it? I got it through the... 
Game Pass. So, yeah. Okay. Wish I could turn off the damn lights, but. That's not exactly good. Where the hell's my HUD? can help me shit yeah I don't have anyone out right where the hell's my HUD there it is oh, I hate this already tell this I hate this I hate this I hate this I hate this Oop. okay that's one less No clue. The only thing I can think of is to act, go for there, check for supplies. I'm hoping we can get a goddamn mirror soon. I sure as hell do not want to still be here. There's a hatchet. Okay, I don't like that. I really, really don't like this place. I'm not gonna chance it. I do not need. Okay. Put away the gun. How oh, it is. Whoops. Oh, thank you. more ammo what the hell is that oh well thanks Okay, so, so far there's not any enemies. I'm not sur sure if it's gonna stay like this 
or if this area is just fine. Okay, there's a couple of bombs. So that's why. Can you tell I'm having fun with this area? Because I sure as hell am. up the damn hatchet which I left over at the other guy didn't I wait what where's the hatchet is it still stuck up there yes it is okay this area to tell you that much. Oh, that's why there's a trip wire right there. Mm. Time being, I want to leave it. couple more matches.
He sounded human enough, but don't entirely trust it. Was that? God damn it. So that means I gotta go down to the goddamn ground floor again. Who the hell is here? I think the only problem is, is that they know of somebody. I'm not exactly too fond of heading out there. Not exactly good. I have a shotgun. Where did I get that? When the hell did I get a shotgun? did I get a goddamn shotgun? Please. Oh, thank you. I don't care. She's going where I want to go. First day as a detective, my new partner, Myra, Myra Hansen, is a real firecracker to nations and no-nonsense, my kind of woman, but I gotta watch it around her. She's almost caught me checking out her ass today. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I was wondering. Bring me home! <sighs> my head. Yeah, seriously, when did I get a shotgun? Thank you, lady. You have no idea how... You should find this useful. What is it? This way, please. 
Oh, this is a new one. Serial killer or sailor, serial killing continued. Police baffled by cause of death. How can there be zero trace of the killer? More bodies found near Elk River's community. Residents feel trapped in their home. So what are we doing? What's back here? Where are you taking me? You don't talk much. It's back here. Oh. I oh that's right, I have a key. Detective Castellanos. Do you have a key like this? Yes, I have one. That key will allow you to open this door. Which one? This one? I... The contents are yours. Please, come back whenever you need to. Okay. Anything else back here I could try to grab? What is that tune? I don't fully recognize it, but it sounds like something I should. Okay, uh, well, you obviously know I'm, why I'm here. Yes, I would love to overwrite that. <laughs> Okay, um, get, get over here. I was saying I got a new shoddy to say the least. Okay, I think obviously our first one of our ones is gonna have to be the health. Yes, for crying out. Uh, yes, let's go with you. Hmm. I prefer So is the shotgun DLC That's what I'm getting a feeling that the shotgun isn't normally in. And if that is the case it makes sense it explains why the hell it's so surprised. <laughs> that one I might also want to get. I would the think of being probably my syringes. I think we could do syringes and matches. But a handgun ammo wouldn't be a bad one either. Let's do... I, I for sure want the syringes. Just wondering which one is... Oh. It's either matches or grenades. I've not picked up any grenades. Uh, let's go with matches. Then. We got a bit more health. Alright, good. that well, that's what I was thinking I don't have any use for it oh I can I can make myself these not yet That's interesting, but I don't have any. That's the problem. I don't have anything here. So what? What are you? Oh, are you not gonna give me anything? 
Okay, I guess it's just because I've never picked it up. Well, what about the shotgun then? Oh, okay, so it does 50 uh, uh, fifty percent more damage than the shotgun, but cannot be ever. So I I will get a shotgun. Yeah, that's so weird. Okay, well, let me save again. Yes. Then I would like to at least probably go through some of the archive stuff. So this is November and December. This is the old note from the sewer. Uh, just talking about that. I don't have anything else. Oh, I missed fragment one and three so far. Can you blame me? It's kind of hard. It's only my first time playing this game, so. Oh, so I do actually have so far. So there was the deaths, the mutilated bodies, uh, the police having, are saying that they were uh, performed on and that they do continue. Leslie, of course. Oh, maybe there's another, yeah, there is. Uh, KCP officer Connor. Oh, uh, Oscar Connor disappeared while on patrol. Patrol card found abandoned on the outskirts of town. Wait, wasn't he our? I'm sorry. I just, I just saw the last uh, four that are just six nine six nine. <laughs> but no, wasn't he the one who drove us in? So either this is because of her, or it's something else entirely. I'm hoping, yes, okay, so it's just Leslie, Oscar, and all that, nothing there. Ordinary keys. Okay. I can go get into the tutorial and all that. Let's go and save right here. So, okay. I'm going to take a hot second because, one, it's near the end, and two, I want to talk about her briefly. Okay, so generally, my thoughts, because, again, I this is my first time playing it. I'm sure there's been plenty of theories and plenty of actual explanations of what's going on. I know within the Evil Within 2, she reappears. And here's what my general understanding of the story is. Because, again, I don't know all of the actual beats. I just know the general gist. Okay. So, if I... And, again, if this is like, oh, spoilers, spoilers. This game is literally, like, really old. Um, I don't remember when it was uh, produced, but I would guess somewhere between the 2000s, 2010s would be a reasonable bet. Unless it's literally 2011 or something like that. <laughs> anyway, so, to my knowledge, the basic idea is that the hospital is... Okay, so, the first thing, the boiler room note. Did I not fully read that? No, I did. Okay. So, the boiler room note, it talks about STEM... Uh, and all that brainwaves and all that and then I'm pretty sure stem may be either the project stuff or it might be literally referring to stem stem <sighs> I think it's more in the actual uh, you know the actual experiment so to my understanding the idea is is that um, so, when we started off, we went through a sort of, um, what was it? The radios, they got basically killed. And to my knowledge, the basic idea is that uh, towards the start of this, before, the, before we headed to the scene, when the multiple homicides were reported, the idea is that there was this, um, okay... 
So I'm pretty sure the experiment, because if I remember within two, the whole idea is that there is a company who is intending to create a sort of um, mental, not exactly storage, I think they're trying to do prisons or something like that. But the whole idea, I, and I can't entirely remember, I think, because in the second one, I think it's uh, either his sister or his daughter that's being used. And that he's having the, uh, that Sebastian, Sebastian is having to go in and free, or he's having to work with the company so that he can get her out. And that they've came to him because of uh, the madman. But in one, I think the whole idea is that, because again, second's a kid, first one, it is an adult, it's an adult, I'm pretty sure it's Leslie, the patient who's been walking around. I'm pretty sure he is our man, the one who's technically not, not entirely in control, but he's the one who's being used to create this mindscape. So, my knowledge is that Leslie is not fully in control, but, and this is where it kind of gets into who she is and all that, Leslie is not in control, but his mind is still trying to protect him. And so the guy who is going around, who stabbed all the cops, and I would believe transport is Sebastian and all that, he is Leslie's um, mental defense system. It doesn't believe in him at all and knows that he can't handle too much stress, so it tries to take out any possible stress. So when the cops who came in, uh, they, again, they're trying to get control of the situation. They're shouting, they're you know, doing a lot of stuff. And what does Leslie's mind take that as? Stress and threats. Now, whether or not the cops were bad or not, I can't entirely say. Because, again, the only thing we got was when the guy was already in kind of a rampage. And we had three cops shooting. So, but, to my understanding, the guy who has a scarred face and has got that weird knife and is teleporting, he is, again, Leslie's defense mechanism. Well, then, how does this relate to her? I think she is Sebastian's uh, defense mechanism. Uh, how? I think Seb Sebastian is capable of actually taking on and otherwise having control over the whole situation. And his mind knows that. So it's just straight up like, yeah, no, I'll help you out. I'm not going to explain everything fully. But for all the stuff that we do get into, I will help you out the most. It's why when you first walk in, uh, she sets you over into the chair that looks really comfortable, then turns out to be this. It isn't a trick. It is just uh, his mind actively trying to get him to like, an upgrade. That way he can actively protect himself better. That's what I'm thinking, is that she is specifically not exactly a separate being, but more of his, sep uh, his mind's defensive. And that's why when you tr when you do travel to her, you have to go through the mirrors. Is because she, or otherwise Sebastian's defense, is not exactly capable. It it's not able to overwrite um, Leslie's control. But it has a decent enough control... And it's capable of projecting its own room. It's why when you wake up, you're in the middle of here. Because even though it seems like this should be hell, it's not. Everything, you got actual creature comforts. Like, you got an actual desk. And then, you got all this and the bed. And then you can freely go whenever you want. You don't have to stay in the room. And then you go out to here and there's all this. But I think, otherwise, okay, because I'm pretty sure Leslie is patient zero or the host, and that she is only, uh, again, what essentially the stabby guy is to Leslie, 
as she is to Sebastian. And the question would be if anyone's going to be like, oh, why why is his defense taking that as um, that approach? You know, being just a nurse trying to get him upgraded. It's because he knows he can do this shit. <laughs> And he's got confidence in himself, but he knows it ain't going to be easy, or at least his, he subconsciously knows. So his mind goes, all right, we're going to go ahead and make sure you are capable of doing this. And that if you feel completely out of it, we'll try to push you in the right direction, but we're not going to outright state because we don't even know what's going on. And that's what my thought on it is. Because it makes sense. She hasn't done anything to harm us, and to be honest this is actually a quite nice place to stay in because again it's literally one of the only places that is safe it's defended by mirrors and the fact that Leslie and the rest of the beacon is not able to get in here and then yeah but yeah well that's a long you know the general theory crafting but on that thank you guys for tuning in all that jazz like subscribe comment down below and I'll see you guys next video other than that, have a great day.